University of Woods. Trail Condition Report. Happy Halloween, everybody. Here I am on campus at the Buddha. I decided to mix things up a little bit today and hike out to the Buddha because it's been a few months and I hadn't been out here in a while. And I figured, oh, you know, Grand Waterfalls are so beautiful and everything, and that's great. But, you know, it's nice to get out even when you're getting out. And so here I am at the back end of the Buddha, just kind of walking around, taking in the sights, taking some pictures, and enjoying the day. Sure is beautiful out here. I think I'm going to head back a little bit further to the front to uh, where I've got a little cave and some firewood stashed, and put on a coffee and maybe have a little soup. We'll have to see how it goes. Thanks for joining me, everybody. City of Woods. Coffee. Here I am at the little half cave at the top of the Buddha. Just enjoying some coffee and some delicious soup. Sitting in the sunshine with a ladybug. Enjoying the day. Sure is lovely. It's nice and cool and breezy. Originally I thought that uh I might go over the top and then come down at the towers and make a big loop of it, but I'm hmm, just not feeling it today. So I think I'm going to take it easy. Maybe go home and watch some scary movies with the wife. It is Halloween after all. And who knows, maybe I'll come out tomorrow and do some running around. It's real breezy in the high country, so that's part of it. And, you know, otherwise I'm just kind of taking it easy today. Having some soup. Just really making the time and taking the time. I certainly hope all of you are. I know it's harder than ever these days to get out. And that's why I think it might even be more important than ever to do so. And so if you can't, you really should. Whether it be just going out in your backyard, laying down and looking at the sky, going to a park, uh, just going for a walk alongside of a stream someplace. Wherever you can go, to get away from people and back to yourself and find your peace of mind that's where you need to be thanks for joining me everybody
scarcity of was. Trail tips. Let's talk about the red bag. It's something that I started doing when I was doing more camping, and it was to have a small uh, red waterproof bag. And usually what I would do is put all the stuff that I needed for first thing in the morning when I got out of the tent. Uh, usually my medicine, uh, a little thing of instant coffee, uh, matches, a lighter, um, stuff like that, a little roll of toilet paper. Um, nothing big, nothing bigger than you can take and fold this in half, you know, just a couple handfuls of stuff. Uh, but nonetheless, the red bag. It's been my go-to thing for a while now, and I've started bringing it with me on the trail, even when I just go out for a quick day hike. Uh, one of the things that I've really come to do uh, frequently is to carry at least one extra day of medicine. I'm getting older, I'm diabetic, and I'm on blood pressure uh, medicine. And so if I'm out here in the wild and something goes wrong, I get stuck overnight unexpectedly. It goes from bad to super bad to way worse if I don't have medicine. And so I keep this in my red bag. That way, just in case I'm out here, something's happening, even if it's somebody uh, who might need to help me in a situation that doesn't know me, I say, hey, go in my pack, get the red bag. It solves the problem instantly. Also, it's waterproof, so I don't have to worry about my matches, uh, my little small first aid kit with bandages and things getting wet. Um, so just a little trail tip. Consider keeping a small red bag of your own with your emergency and uh, you know, uh, necessary items in your pack, even if it's just for a day trip. You can't ever tell what a difference it might make. Hi students, let's talk about gear. Um, gear is a big part of hiking, camping, going out, uh, climbing, whatever it is your outdoor activity is, hunting, fishing. Um, and you know, it can make a big difference between just being comfortable, uh, surviving, uh, or actually, you know, feeling somewhat luxurious even in the wild. What's your favorite new piece of gear or old reliable piece of gear that you keep with you all the time? I'd love to hear about it. Just go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know. Meanwhile, one of my favorite pieces of gear that I picked up just this year is this here little twig stove. Small but mighty. I got it at the big box outlet store in Nampa, Idaho. Uh, it is Ray Home brand, and it's just a little, uh, you know, lightweight three-piece unit that squeaks really bad. Um, I think I looked it up online, and it's on Amazon for something like uh, 10 or 11 bucks if you can find them still in stock. But it's a great little stove. It takes just a little handful of twigs, and it uh, boils my water in under two minutes, usually. Uh, so great for coffee, uh, warming up your soup, or whatever. Definitely makes my favorite gear of the year. What's yours?